Welcome to module two of our series, Getting Started with Lexis Advance. In the last module, we had a look at how to understand your Lexis Advance subscription. We discussed how to find which texts and jurisdictions were available at your organization and how to browse them or search across them. In this session, we will be looking at searching. My name is Carolyn Freeman, and I am a client experience and learning consultant for LexisNexis based in Auckland. Please note my email here and the customer support number that you can call if you require more help. Lexis Advance is characterized by the big red search box at the top of the home page. When searching on Lexis Advance, there are three key search methods that you can use. The general search from the red search box. This is useful when you want everything available on your query. The quick find, your shortcut to specific content types and the advanced search with guided search fields to help you refine your keywords. Searching on Lexis Advance. Getting the best out of Lexis Advance requires you to understand the best place to start your search. We're going to start today by looking at the general search or the Google-esque search. For your most general search on Lexis Advance, you use the red search box. This is the search that asks Lexis Advance to bring back all the information it might have on a certain topic, defined by keywords. For example, if I enter the key term, voidable transactions, Lexis Advance will suggest particular documents that I may be interested in here in the word wheel. If I want the broadest range of results across case law, commentary, legislation and guidance, I'd be best to run the search across everything rather than choosing one of these options to get all possible results. The search across everything will bring you to the global results page. Here, my total results for the search are broken down into content types under these tabs. I can see my key term, voidable transactions, has brought back a lot of results. But these large numbers are easy to break down by using the range of refining features available to you on the left hand side. Let's look at case law as our first example. Just a note on this, on most accounts, case law is displayed by default in the results page first. If you would prefer to see a different content type displayed first, you are able to change the default in settings. This is under the more button on the top right hand corner. A keyword search will lead to results that are displayed by the relevance of your keyword. So for cases, that is not telling you how important the case is, but how important your keywords are in the case. Cases are displayed by case name with an extract from the text of the case and a list of all the possible citations that a case may have. These citations range from the original unreported judgment released by the court to any reported versions of the case, such as the New Zealand law reports. You are probably aware that where a reported case is available, that is the one to read. You can click straight into the reported version via the citation. Once you've clicked into the citation, you can read the full text of the case on the screen or download it as a PDF document. Next to the case name will be a signal that comes from CaseBase, our LexisNexis case law citator. Clicking on the case name will take you to CaseBase. Using CaseBase as the portal for the other versions of the case means you can read a quick summary of it, see the litigation history if that's relevant, and as well as that, how it has been treated in subsequent judgments in this table here, and what those judgments were. For example, in this version, I can see that the case I have chosen has been approved or followed by this case. Clicking into the box, the case appears below and I can see how it was treated. I can also see which journals have written articles that have discussed the case I'm looking at and click into them here if they are available on my subscription. To go back to the results page, I can use the browser arrow at the top of my page. Once back on the results page, I can see the full list of my case law results and refine them using the features on the left hand side of the page. 
I can refine with a new keyword to display the documents that also have that word in them. For example, if I put recovery in full into the search field, the database will bring up cases that not only mention voidable transaction, but also mention the term recovery in full. You can see my two highlighted terms here in different colors. You can do this multiple times and also change and edit the keywords that you have chosen. This is a good way to get material that is really on point. One of the useful features of searching on Lexis Advance is the highlighting of the keywords in your extracts. The keyword highlight feature is really useful. This allows you to see how often your keywords are used in the text of the document and how close together they are. You can also skim read the document by clicking through the highlights. Other refining features for cases are choosing your court or courts, refining by timeline or publication or legal topic. Using these features, you can bring your results down to a manageable number very quickly. For cases, you can sort how the results are presented on the right-hand side. For example, you could reshuffle your results by judgment date, court, or a combination of the two. A general search, such as the one we have done, has brought up results across all the content types. We've looked only at cases so far. If you wanted commentary on voidable transactions, you could click into the tab called Secondary Materials. The refining features for secondary materials are slightly different here, but offer the same useful function of zeroing in on the information you're looking for. Refine secondary materials by adding keywords to your original search, selecting a content type, publication, or legal topic. The same principle applies when looking at the other tabs, be it legislation, forms and precedents, or guidance. Click into them and refine on the left-hand side by keyword or another filter. The general search will provide you with a good understanding of what can be found on Lexis Advance across all content types related to your keyword query. There are two other key ways to search on Lexis Advance. If you would prefer to take a shortcut and not get results for all the content types on your search query, you can use the Quick Find pod. You'll find this on the home page. This pod allows you to search for content types individually. For example, to search for cases only, enter the case citation or the case name. It's an excellent pathway for legislation searches as you could jump straight to the section you want. Enter the name of the act and you will be given a suggestion so that you can get the accurate date and name. Enter the section number and hit search. This will take you through to the words of the statute. Scroll down to the statute section that you want and click Legislation Citator. The Legislation Citator is a really useful page that will give you links to all the secondary materials and case law that refer to the section that you're looking at. Click this link to jump down the page to see the references for Section 292 of the Companies Act 1993 in the Laws of New Zealand. Other sources of commentary, journals, newsletters and bulletins that talk about this section are listed here. Textbooks that you may have on your subscription that discuss this section are mentioned here. And dictionaries. For case law, you can jump down the page to review case law by judgment date, court highest to lowest or court lowest to highest, and case based signal. You can also enter another keyword here to search across the whole text of a case and find which cases not only mention the section that you're looking at, but also the keyword that you've asked for. 
Back on the home page, you can see to get to the legislation and to the legislation citator, we only had to enter the legislation name here and we were able to easily find it. The legislation citator link sits next to each section of legislation. So we've looked at searching generally in the red search box using the shortcut of the quick find and now the third key way to search on Lexis Advance is to use the advanced search forms. You find these at the bottom of each quick find tab. This link will lead you to a more guided search for the content type that you're looking for. Let's look at the advanced search form for cases as our first example. You can see that I have the choice to search across New Zealand cases or all my subscribed jurisdictions. I'm going to choose New Zealand cases and click the link. The advanced search form guides you to include as many of the key terms as you need to refine your query following suggestions in the search fields. You may choose to search for cases mentioning specific judges, dates, legislation, or court. For example, I could enter the judge's name Elias, the dates as after the year 2000, the legislation as being the Care of Children Act 2004, and cases mentioning specifically Section 5, and choose my court as a Supreme Court. The advanced search form creates a sophisticated search string to target only cases that meet all of these criteria. Hit the search button and run the search. You can see that my results include all my key terms and the search has brought back five cases. The key terms are highlighted in color, green for the judge's name, orange for Care of Children Act, and purple for the section. This enables me to skim through my results to see which are relevant to me. If you can't remember exact names or citations of cases, or the citation of an article in the journal, you can use the advanced search forms. For an article from a journal, you would choose secondary materials and type in the name of the author or anything you might remember about the article. For example, the author's name might be Hennigan and the article discussed the Care of Children Act 2004 and specifically Section 6. This search will bring you to articles in secondary materials that meet the criteria. Run the search and arrive on the results page. Filter the results to journals only. You can see your key terms highlighted in each extract that Lexis Advance has brought back. The journal name can be seen on the right hand side next to each extract or on the left hand side in the filters bar. You can do an advanced search on any of the listed content types in the quick find or find the link at the top of the red search box to access the search forms. This brings us to the end of module two, which is focused on how to search and refine results on Lexis Advance. In summary, choose the search that best fits your query. The general search for all material on the subject, the quick find for a shortcut to one content type, and the advanced search for a more guided and targeted approach. In the third and final module, we'll be looking at how to customise some of the features of Lexis Advance to make it your own, including setting up alerts, using folders, and saving favourite publications.